Hey, Devin here with HungryForHunting.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make grouse stew with homemade cream and mushroom soup. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the cream and mushroom soup base from fresh ingredients. So we got the, I got the burner here, I got the, the pan on uh, medium high and I just want to throw my butter in there. Once the butter's melted, I want to just add the mushrooms. And what I like to do is I use mostly the cheap store-bought mushrooms, the cremonies, but what I want to do is add some porcinis in. These aren't actually porcinis I got myself, but you can get, you know, dried mushrooms, dried wild mushrooms from the, at the store, and uh, they add a really nice touch to this. Put those in too. So after about five minutes of sautéing here, the mushrooms are starting to get pretty juicy. They've released a lot of their moisture. And now what I'm going to do, add in the shallot. Stir that around a little bit. Add the salt, and then add fresh thyme. You can definitely do dried thyme, but I just find that there's no substitute for the fresh. And I want to reduce the heat to medium. So after about four minutes, You'll notice the shallots are starting to soften a bit and it's all starting to blend together and your house is going to be filled with this incredible aroma of mushrooms. And at that point, uh, you're, you're pretty much done. So right here, I'm, I'm done with this portion of it. So I'm going to set the mushrooms aside and we're going to make the, the base, the roux of the soup. A roux might sound a little intimidating, but actually it's totally simple. All it is is just a thick base that's going to thicken up the stew and make it nice and hearty. So the first thing to do is we're going to add the butter. I'm going to have my heat on about medium here. So once the butter is all melted, what I'm going to do is just going to be a process of gradually adding the flour in. And I'm just going to whisk it in as I go. So I'll add a little bit in there, whisk it around until it's all absorbed. So you really want to take your time on this. If you add it too fast, it's all just going to clump. So you just want to go gradual. So after it gets to this point here, that's when you want to start adding your stock in. A little bit at a time. Ooh. So now once it starts to get to the consistency of maybe a thin pancake batter or a creamy bisque type soup, now it's time to start adding in the cream. So I'm going to add a little bit of cream at a time. All right, so this is looking nice and thick, the way I want it to look. And the next thing I want to do is I want to add in the mushroom mixture that we sauteed earlier. Just add that right in. Oh yeah, that's definitely where I want it to be. And for the final touch, you want to add a little kick, get some bourbon in there, and uh, what else but wild turkey. Now I'm ready to get the stew done. So the way to do this, the first thing here is just going to combine it, the some ingredients in the pot here, big cast iron pot. Throw in some potatoes, carrots, 
onions, and add the cream of mushroom soup and the water. And mix it all together pretty well. Then is ready to go on the stove. Crank it up to high and put the lid on. And I just want to heat it up uh, until it starts to boil. All right, so I just checked it. It's just started to bubble and boil. So now the only thing left to do is to add the, the bird. So I'm going to kill the heat there on the stove. And I, what I like to do is I just like to get it, get the bird down a little bit buried by the rest of the stew here. And now what we're going to do just to make sure that all those juices are locked in is to get a nice big layer of bacon going on the top here. So don't be afraid to really pile that bacon on there. You can even get a couple of nice layers going. And now that that's ready to go, all I'm going to do is throw the lid back on, pop it in the oven, wait one hour, and we're going to have some delicious stew. All right, so the stew's been in the oven for about an hour, and it's time to check it and see if it's done. And it is done. Oh man, that smells delicious. Whew rich and creamy and hearty. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. This has really become one of my favorite recipes. People go nuts over this stew. Um, I, I really hope that you give it a try and uh, let me know how it goes. Thanks. Mm -hmm.